Hi, I'm Chelsea Castro, lawyer turned psychotherapist on a mission to help you work, live, and feel better. Let's dive right in. Anxiety attacks, they feel awful and sometimes never ending. So let's break it down to understand what is actually going on here so that you can beat them. Let's first talk about that brain of yours. During an anxiety attack, your brain does not know the difference between what you're worried about and being attacked by a predator. So it releases hormones like cortisol and adrenaline to help you fight off or run away from that imaginary predator. Those hormones make your heart beat faster, your lungs fight for more air, and tense up your muscles, among other things, so that you can physically react to a threat and fight off that supposed predator. If you don't take action to fight off a predator or run away, those hormones stay in your body and end up making you tremble, they make you feel like you can't breathe, give you pressure or even pain in your chest, maybe the throat, they make you sweat, they give you headaches, they make you feel dizzy, and even make you feel like you can't think straight. Those are the physical symptoms of an anxiety attack. So you find yourself having these awful symptoms. What do you do? First, remind yourself that this is temporary and try to keep in mind that your, what your brain is actually doing. You are not dying. Your brain is reacting to something that it finds very scary. So you need to send messages to it that communicate that there is no actual physical threat. One way to do this is through your breathing. Slow, deep breaths. Tell your brain, mm -mm, no, 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 you are not actually on your attack. Stop right there. I recommend that most people do square breathing. We'll do that at the end of the video. But for now, let's move on to recommendation number three. Redirect your focus away from the anxiety attack. This is where mindfulness exercises come in. One that I have found to be very helpful with my clients is called the five senses exercise. It goes like this. Identify five things you see, four things you are touching, three things you hear, two things you smell, and one thing you taste. So for me right now, it might be like, I see a camera, I see the wall, I see artwork on the wall, I see my hands, I see my feet, I am touching the ground with my feet, the seat of the chair, the back of the chair, the shirt on my shoulders, I can hear the air conditioner, I hear the sound of traffic, I can smell the recycled air from the air conditioner, I can smell lunch, and I can taste coffee. That's it. It forces you to focus on what is actually happening around you instead of the symptoms or that threat that triggered the anxiety attack. Finally, recommendation number four, movement. You may find that even after you get past the anxiety attack, you still feel really uncomfortable and on edge. This is because your body may still be trying to process that cortisol, adrenaline, and other hormones from when your brain thought it was being attacked. Move around. Exercise or even just movement is a great way to manage anxiety because it helps your body process all those stress hormones that it released when your brain thought it was being attacked. You need to get rid of those or else they build up in your system making you more vulnerable to more anxiety attacks, hurting your ability to focus, your productivity, and putting you at risk for a slew of medical issues down the line. Okay, so back to the breathing exercise. It's often referred to as square breathing, and I sometimes call it the four count breathing exercise. It's simple. You start with a cleansing breath. You inhale for a count of four. Hold for a count of four. Exhale for a count of four. Hold for a count of four. And then you repeat that four times. So let's do it together. Cleansing breath. <sighs> inhale for a count of one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale.
exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, cleansing breath. And that breathing has now sent a signal to your brain that it can exit fight or flight mode because it's not actually being attacked. And then recenter and reset. These tips should help almost anybody manage and reduce the frequency and the intensity and the duration of an anxiety attack. In the long run, therapy that helps you deal with the underlying causes of the anxiety is going to be your best bet. But for now, employing these strategies will help you feel better. Until next time. <laughs>